For the next project in this grading cycle, we will be creating a paint illustration of a tiger using an actual photo of a tiger, harnessing the power of the photo manipulation of Photoshop. Uh, so this is a finished image of what your um, project will look like. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to navigate to the student share folder. We're in A1. This is advanced. And this is the fourth project called painting. Okay. And you're going to click in this tiger images folder. There's two images there. This photo, this video tutorial, I'm going to be using this first one. Open up this tiger painting and open that in Photoshop. Okay. I'm going to start by hitting Control Zero to make it full screen. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose image and we're going to go to adjustments and use the bright con brightness contrast. So this image is a little bit dull, so we're going to bump up the contrast to brighten the image and make it a little more dramatic. So up, up here all the way to 100%, click OK. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on New Layer. You're going to tile this layer as blue. Okay. Hit Enter. Now we want to actually change our foreground color to blue here. It's not the exact color that you have to pick, but um, just any kind of blue color there. Click OK. You're going to grab the paint bucket tool. You want to make sure your blue layer is highlighted. Okay, and just click in there to make the blue layer. Okay. Now we're going to double click the background layer. Tile it, just tile it again background. Now we're going to change the opacity to 80%. Click OK. We are going to actually uh, move the blue layer to the bottom layer. Okay. Then we are going to create a new layer and I'm going to tile this on as mixer paint. Click on enter there. Move this to the top. Okay. Make sure this is highlighted. We are going to use the mixer paint brush tool. Click on the where the paint where the brush tool is. Click and hold it down to grab the mixer paint brush. What the mixer paint brush does is it grabs um, we're actually sampling all layers, so it's grabbing all the information from each different layer. We're going to turn off the blue layer. Make sure you have these settings here. Okay. Make sure these little two icons here. The first one is off. The first one is loaded. You want to load. You want to turn that off. You want to turn this one on. Clean the brush after each stroke. You want to turn that one on. Just click it. Hold. It. And you want to make sure all these are at 100 percent down here. Then you want to click on sample all layers okay and I have this one selected so I always use pressure size I don't think it matters really um, then you're gonna actually select window and bring up your brush toolbar here there's a lot of different presets you can use what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this a splatter brush size here I'm actually gonna adjust the brush set it actually shows you a preview here down at the bottom I'm going to bring this up and make it a little oblong shape. Then I'm actually going to uh, rotate it a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's the brush I'm going to use for this setting. You can actually experiment with the different brushes. There are a lot of different brushes to use. And you can actually, uh, there's a lot of settings here you can actually change to. Okay. But I'm going to stay with this brush size. Um, we want to actually, there's a keyboard shortcut. Uh, the, using the bracket keys instead of going up and actually clicking on the brush and changing the size here there's a lot faster way using the keyboard shortcut of the bracket keys the left key makes it smaller makes your brush size smaller and the right bracket key makes your brush size larger so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here um, making your brush size smaller is actually going to be a little bit easier on this assignment so you want to start by using, we're using this, these uh, drawing tablets here and using a stylus. It's going to really make this go a lot smoother because using your mouse is a little bit clunky. Okay, So I'm actually using my uh, combination of my mouse to actually do different things and then using my uh, pen and stylus. Um, I'm sorry, stylus and drawing tablet to actually draw with because it's a little more intuitive. So we're going to start by just coloring the pupil and we're just um, creating this, you know, we're just creating this paint, painting this, basically just painting this over. 
Okay, you can see here. I'm not, by any means, I'm not definitely a great artist, but I'm actually just going over this. And you can see here, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you, but we're just creating this. You definitely want to go in the direction of the uh, hair that the line has here, and you want to keep your brush sizes, brush strokes small. Okay? This, uh, you don't want to get really, you can get a little bit longer than this, but you want to definitely don't want to uh, make it the full length of your drawing there because the the hairline the hairs in the tiger's face is definitely not you know going really far for the whiskers definitely you can go a little longer if you want to go along with the whiskers definitely you can do that um, but definitely I would keep it uh, shorter okay so definitely on these eyes I would kind of just darken in the pupil there to get that to show up and then uh, you can actually play around with the eyes that kind of uh, gold color there in the eyes Okay, and you can see here just in a little bit I've actually just kind of gone over the eyes and then uh, you can actually go over all these colors there and again definitely going in the brush brush strokes keeping them small and going in the direction of the hair I guess going with a grain I, I would assume you could say and just going uh, with that and just creating these small brush strokes okay and then when you get down here you can actually Start going. Look, I seem I see. I've done this a few times, and I I uh, go a little smaller. I mean, I'm going a little uh, slower around the eyes and around little detour detail points. But you can go a little bit faster whenever it gets more to this uh, broader areas down here. Okay. And again, I'm, my brush size is getting a bit longer, but still, it's um, short. Okay. And just uh, go over everything there. Okay. So I'm going over his nose, I'm going over all this kind of things, okay? So you're just kind of mixing this uh, paint together. Paint in the actual photo by using the brush strokes, okay? So I'm going to turn this uh, background layer off. And so you see, uh, just in a few seconds there, I've actually started to create this, this uh, background here. If I go back to mine, you can actually see, um, if I turn all these off, then... Uh, the mixer paintbrush I'm actually gonna go over the whole image there okay the next thing we do is we're going to create a black layer so you're gonna click new layer down here the new layer button tile this and as just a black okay and enter then uh, you want to turn off the mixer paint layer okay you want to actually go back to using just the brush tool and for this one, I'm actually going to use a different brush. I'm going to go use this uh, this uh, round point, this uh, 25, where that it's a little bit finer there. Okay. I'm going to close this by clicking the button. Okay. And it actually shows you a preview. You can do that too. If you click there, it shows you an actual you know top view of what your brush. It doesn't really help you any. I don't know why they do that. But click there and it gives you the side view. So that's actually going to help you a little bit more. And I'm going to use the bracket tools, bracket keys to actually, you know, bring this up a little bit and bring this down. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to uh, just go over the, the black uh, outlines in his face there to create more definition. I'm sorry. I'm just going to hit undo there. If you want to undo more than once, you hit control, shift, and then Z to undo more than once. There's three different things I would keep in mind. On the undo thing, it only keeps uh, track of so many things that you want to do. So definitely, if you get to a point, like I'll say on the mixer brush, mixer paint layer, you like where you are, then I would definitely uh, create a snapshot of that little section right there. So that way, you can always go back to there. I would use a combination of this, maybe using the eraser tool. You can erase out different sections. So I click on the mixer paint, mixer paint layer, and I can actually erase the sections I want to use. Or I can actually uh, use the control alt. I mean, yeah, control shift and Z key to undo. So these are those three things to actually be using to, uh, you know, if you if you create and uh, go over the eyes and you don't like it, then you can use that. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to this black layer, turn off the mixer paint, and actually just to go over um, this and just create uh, just kind of these outlines. Oh shoot! I do. 
So I'm going to switch those to make it black, okay? So that I'm going to just create these outlines there. Definitely you don't have to be a perfectionist on this at all, definitely. So this again keeps these kind of small. And you're just going to create these kind of um, outlines there. And uh, you can actually just uh, create these there. Okay. So you're just going over these to create some outlines. And I'm going over these kind of quickly, but you can actually spend a little more time with these. Okay. And uh, definitely need these highlights there. Just highlighting things. Maybe a. Uh, I'll add this and then down here. But you can see this is kind of your outline layer. So I'm creating some black outlines. Okay. When you get that done, say um, you're going to create another layer. You're actually going to blend these two mixer paint and the black layers together. You're going to create a new layer. You're going to tile this in as. I'm going to go back to my finished product and see if that is. Uh, that's actually called merge strokes layers. Okay. So this one you're gonna again all merge strokes. Okay. You want to make sure your uh, background, your mixer paint layer, your back your black layer, and then your merge stroke layer is on. But you want to highlight that so you actually can go back to it. And you're going to actually use the mixer brush tool again. Okay. And then use the tablet. And you're basically going to go over um, and just kind of blend these layers in. And definitely I'm keeping these kind of small and just blending these black lines in. So you can see there. And the way this mixer brush tool works is it actually starts with the color you're using. And then it blends over and eventually it picks up the color that you're going over a second. So I'm just kind of quickly just not doing anything perfectionist. I'm just kind of quickly blending those in. So it's grabbing your background and it's grabbing the black and it's grabbing a lot of different things. Okay. So you kind of just blend those in together. So you can see there it's kind of blending that in. And it's just creating these these kind of highlights now. See so there, screen some like a nice little. So you don't definitely don't have to be perfectionist about this. You're just kind of creating these kind of uh, black highlights there, black outlines or black highlights. So you can see there. In a second, I've done that. Okay. Um, the next thing you would do is we're going to create a layer just of the eyes. So we're going to turn off the merge strokes layer, the black layer mixer, just leave the background on, create a new layer, tile this one as uh, eyes, and enter. And you're going to actually, again, use the stylus and the tablet. And you're actually just going to create an eye layer. Okay. So kind of just to make the eye lines, uh, make the eye stand out. And again, it's a, basically uh, all these layers work together to create this image there. So you can go over this eyes. Definitely I'm doing this real kind of quick, but you'll spend a little more time to make the eyes kind of stand out. Definitely make the go over the people first, and then you kind of just blend this in with the, the eye color there. You can see there. And again, it's taking this, I'm bringing them to white, or you can actually go stroke this way with bringing the black. I'm just keeping these brush strokes really small and going in the direction of the hair, kind of going with the grain. And uh, basically, um, I might go back to the brush tool 
and then uh, click on white to make my foreground white. I'm actually going to hold down the Alt key and zoom in to my eye here, maybe create some highlights. And actually create your brush, brush size are real small. And then just uh, quickly, you know, color in some high, highlights, some white. You don't want to do crazy with using the whites. So just create some highlights there. Maybe just scroll over to the other side and create some white highlights as well on this eye. These are just maybe reflections in the pupil or something like that. So you definitely don't really have to be, you know, picky about this at all. Then um, I'm going to hit Control Zero again to zoom out. Go back to my Mixer Brush tool. Then I can actually blend in those white that I've created there. See, there's a little highlights there. And maybe uh, so you're actually going to start on the white and actually blend over, and it's going to blend that in really well. So you can see there's kind of like little highlights in his eyes, maybe or something. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn all these layers on. No, I'm sorry, not the blue layer, but just everything else. Okay. Then we're I guess, going to hold down the Control, Shift, Alt, and then E key. I know that's a lot of keys, but it creates a an actual layer of um, everything you have, all the layers, and it converges them together. So it's layer one. Then what you're going to do is we're going to create this. Is a I, if I can show you a little bit this layer one. What this is is that it creates this kind of texture to it, so it creates more of a you're actually using a paintbrush to create some texture like a real painting would be. Okay. So this layer one, you're going to start by going to filter. You're going to go to stylize, and you're going to click on boss. You're going to have these settings. Angle is 135, height is 2, amount is 500, all the way over to, to the right. Click OK. There's a little bit of colors in there. We're actually going to take them out. Click Image, go to Adjustments, and Desaturate to make it all gray. Okay. Now we are actually going to choose this first layer to Overlay. Just uh, change the Blend Mode to Overlay. So it creates, uh, you can see here, this small little things. It creates some texture there. Okay, you actually go back to mine. Do you actually see if I turn all these layers on? Okay, and I turn off that, and it creates this kind of like wispy little cloud kind of uh, texture. Okay, but actually, a painting texture would have some you know, real texture to it. Okay, so it really, really makes it stand out. Okay. And then uh, the last thing you do is you turn on this blue layer that's going to add some uh, complementary colors. Okay, that goes along well with these uh, reds and oranges. Okay, um, then you're going to save this. So we're going to click File and then Save This, Save As. You're going to save this as you know just painting or any entire. That's fine. And then turn it into Edmodo. And there's an assignment um, called painting I believe painting maybe it's called painting tire and then you're gonna actually uh, turn this in as painting and then you're gonna do a painting extension where you're taking your own image of another animal or some other kind of image it can be of a person and you want to do the same thing for more extension okay so that concludes this assignment thanks for watching